Hey Moon Magic family, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so, so much for joining me for today's readings. And in our readings today, we are doing how can you manifest the love of your life? We're going to just see what advice, guidance, spirit will give you. How can you manifest? Is there anything specific that you can do to manifest the love of your life? So we have this card and I'm seeing this one on the top too. So we're going to do three readings. And we have a fantastic um, range of cards today that are connected both to love, relationships, and also to manifestation. So reading number one, you have the card separation. Separation is not the end. This is what this card is saying. Reading number two, honesty. Relationships need trust. And reading number three, we have timing, allow events to unfold at the correct time. Now I'm going to draw a rune as well for you for each of the readings. Reading one, you have the rune of protection. Reading two, you have the rune of signs, signals. And reading three, you have the rune of strength. I'm going to draw a charm as well for you too. Reading one. Oh wow, you have the love and the heart. The arrow going through it. You see that? Okay, I'm going to place that just there. Reading two. You have, oh wow, you have Cupid's arrow being fired here. <laughs> okay, and reading three. You have the lizard. Okay, how exciting. Okay, I am so excited about these readings, I really am. So we are asking, how can you manifest the love of your life? Practical, pragmatic advice, if possible, from spirit, please. So I'm going to leave the video running for just a few moments longer. Take your time, tune into your intuition. If you feel that more than one reading is reaching out to you, it may be that there is more than one piece of advice or guidance that's going to be coming to you regarding how you can manifest the love of your life. This is one of the many readings that I'm doing just right here and right now in the build up to and around Valentine's Day. So keep an eye out for these readings as soon as I post them, Super Souls. I'm going to leave the video running for a few moments longer for anyone that needs a bit more time. Take as long as you need and I will see you in the readings in just a second. Tons of love to you all. Hey, reading number one, you have the rune of protection. You have the beautiful little heart with the arrow going through and separation. Separation is not the end. So we are asking today for reading number one, what can you do or how can you manifest the love of your life? Now I've got some super lovely cards here. We have two packs of love and relationship oracle cards and also manifestation cards as well. So we have two cards coming here for you first we have let's see what else we are shown in your oracle cards may we ask for reading number one how can reading number one i do see this card how can reading number one manifest the love of their life what can you do i'm seeing i'm going to say all three of those cards actually reading number one and this is another pack that I think I'm quite new to these, the Midnight Bizu 1942 cards, but you know, they're fantastic in terms of manifestation. Okay, I'm gonna read this first of all. So we, we, our card says, imagination having the ability to think or dream of new, interesting, unorthodox, unconventional ideas, having creativity, being a free thinker, thinking outside the box. If you can dream it, you can create it. Okay. The rune of protection, very interesting because the rune of protection speaks of managing your emotions actually. And what do we have? We have the card of feelings and embrace. 
Embrace what destiny has in store for you. Take time out to explore the deep emotions you're experiencing. Okay. We then have released your ex. Separation. Separation is not the end. We have let go gracefully. Okay, something in your life is calling for you to let it go, let go gracefully. Whatever has taken place in the past, it's time to move forwards and letting go will make way for the new. Whether this is a person, a situation, an outdated thought or behaviour pattern, this card comes to assure you that new horizons are waiting for you. We have authenticity. Oh, wow. And take a leap. I mean, hold your head up high. Walk tall and be your authentic self. This card asks you to shed the masks that you believed you were required to wear. Walk to the beat of your own drum. Do not be afraid to shine. In doing so, you give others permission to do the same. And then we have this super fabulous card. Take a leap. I mean, it just says it all. Sometimes, even when we desperately desire change, we procrastinate and find all kinds of reasons as to why we should stay as we are. It's so human, isn't it? It is completely understandable to be anxious when stepping into the unknown. This card is calling you to trust and make that move. I am feeling very, very strongly in your cards, reading number one, that there has been a separation and an ending to the extent the emotional fallout of that has left you fearful of kind of fearful of moving forwards and yet the rune of protection says manage your emotions learn to see and understand your emotions as a source of empowerment take time out to explore the deep emotions it, this this is not the end. It's almost as though I think for some of you, you may have actually lost somebody and you really, really thought they were going to be the love of your life. For others, maybe there's been, yeah, a, a difficult ending. One way or the other, what I think, irrespective of your unique circumstances, you've had a difficult ending of some sort. And it really is time to clear your energy from this and allow yourself to genuinely believe and dream of what you would like. I love this card. Imagination, having the ability to think or dream of new, interesting, unorthodox, unconventional ideas, having creativity, being yourself, being a free thinker, thinking outside the box. If you can dream it, you can create it. This reading is literally an invitation for you to literally let go of anything connected to a previous relationship. Absolutely anything, any avenue or any attitudes even that have risen from previous encounters. Just be you and literally take a leap. There's a bit more going on here though, I think. It's not just about taking a leap. It's being you and knowing that, I almost want to say, knowing that you didn't do anything wrong. You don't have to dim yourself down in any way, shape or form. You can be yourself, be completely yourself. And that in itself is going to bring to you, that authenticity is going to bring to you, I feel like it will be a relationship of destiny. It's quite curious. There's a very distinct flavour to your reading, reading number one. I'm going to say, I won't say any more just yet. Let's draw some more cards. Let's draw from a tarot pack and see what else we're shown here for reading number one. We are asking about how you can manifest the love of your life. Okay, let's sit with these cards and see what we are shown. So we have the death card indicating the need to let go, this transition. Okay, letting go, starting the new, a new dawn, singing a new song. Now we have here the page of cups and the sun. Oh, wow. So we have the page of cups. This is very interesting. Then we have the sun, which indicates sometimes a new relationship. It literally does almost indicate a relationship where I would say it's a relationship of destiny, a really major connection. 
a soul to soul connection. And what do we have here? We have the four of wands. This is like a commitment and engagement. Are you afraid of commitment? Has the loss of a relationship, the breaking down of a relationship, left you with fears of, of whatever it is. I feel like there's a fear of, there's a fear around being able to commit. Concern, maybe you were, maybe you came out of something quite badly financially in some way from a previous relationship. But it's really time to let go of that now. I think the energy of someone coming in is very, very close. You may even actually know a somebody around you that you're really, really quite interested in. And you're, I'm not saying you're ambivalent because I think you really like this person, Page of Cups. It feels like it's in its infancy. So how can you manifest the love of your life for some of you? For some of you, it may be that there's somebody literally just around the corner and all you have to do is fully let go of historical stuff and really embrace your capacity to to manifest to create but for others i i think for a lot of you there's somebody already around you i think you actually really quite like this person but your feelings are quite young around this i when i say your feelings are young i i think this is somebody who's actually quite new to you but they've stirred your uh, feelings of attraction. They've stirred your imagination. They've stirred the, that space of possibility, but you're kind of a little uncertain. And the uncertainty has something to do with history. Whether it's this life or a past life, wherever it's come from, there's something around you that is kind of leaving you. I sort of want to say you're kind of... It's almost like you're a little bit shy around this. You're not quite sure how to kind of move it forwards. Be creative. This has got potential here. It really has. I, I really think this has potential and it has potential to heal the wounds of the past. You know, we have the death card here and the five of pentacles, which is kind of difficult decisions. Yeah, I, I think there's there's fear of commitment in you or fear of starting again, fear of loving again. And you are being asked to really explore those feelings and really actually recognize that they don't need to they don't need to be present. It's really, really okay just to be you. You're being invited to take a leap. Literally take a leap. You're being called to trust and make that move. I think there is someone around you that you actually really like. Now, for some of you, if that person isn't around you, I think they're going to be around you very soon. And when they do, it's going to be like there's the stirrings of your heart. And a part of you will be having a wobble about that. We have the rune of protection. The rune of protection, um, this is algis um, in the Nordic term, terminology. Algis, the rune of protection, is... It is a rune that says you need to manage your emotions, the highs and the lows. And I feel that when we start to maybe quite like someone, that's kind of what it throws us into, isn't it? It's the highs and the lows of emotionality. There's all that possibility and all the fear of it going wrong at the same time. I do think you have in you some sort of fear of something going wrong. That's actually what's coming through really strongly here above and beyond anything. I think you're fearful. That's the common denominator for you reading number one, irrespective of where you've come from and what this is about. Irrespective of your personal circumstances, you have a fear of something going wrong. And that has made you slightly reticent about commitment, reticent to move something ahead, to really voice your feelings in a super, super honest, authentic way. It's not that you're not aware of them, but there's anxiety here about, it literally is, it's anxiety about it going wrong. That's what I'm seeing here. Let's draw some more cards. I'm going to draw from, mm, 
Let me see, what shall I draw from? I think I'm going to draw an angel card for you. Okay. May we have advice, please, for reading number one. I am seeing this card, actually. Angel of Health. Okay. Right. Now, this is interesting because I always feel with the Angel of Health card. You know, look at this couple in their later years. Or this feels like a... And there's family around. What this reading is really saying to me, or what this card is saying to me, Angel of Health, is... And for those of you for whom it's relevant, it's the card number 16. I know some of you like the uh, numbers read out. There's opportunity here. This, this person that I think either is about to come into your life, for many of you, I think is around. They've kind of, yeah, they've, they've opened the door of possibility to your heart. You're interested in them. And I think there's anxiety about it going wrong. This comes as an affirmation that it doesn't need to go wrong. There needs to be open communication, just love and acceptance, and also an allowing of this to sort of grow organically. There's something around this card as well. And maybe also there may be aspects around you where some of the fears might be, there might be health issues involved for some of you. Maybe you lost somebody due to a health problem or you've had health problems yourself. But there's something around here that is connecting to the anxiety that I think you have about it going wrong. There's fears of something going wrong, that's at the core. And we're being shown here that you know, this for me is, is a, a connection that can thrive. It looks really supportive. It looks loving. It's like there's, there's love, there's care, there's a union of equal support going on and potential longevity as well I'm seeing with this couple here. Okay, reading number one. So we're asking how can you manifest the love of your life? I actually think... Either someone is about to arrive, or I do think for many of you, there's someone around that is interested. The key is to take that leap. Let go of any fears of it going wrong and just allow it to, to grow. It's like to grow old gracefully. <laughs> Let go gracefully, but to, this is, yeah, to grow old gracefully, to, to develop gracefully, to move forwards at its own pace, not to be bound by history in any way, shape or form. I'm going to draw from a different tarot pack now. May we just have a sneaky peek, please? May we have a sneaky peek into the future, please, of this relationship? I think you're being asked to reach out. Let go of fears. Say hi. Don't look the other way. There's, there's a shyness. There's almost, you're shy, you're a little bit bashful, you're a little bit uncertain. But it's really okay to, to show your feelings. It's really, really okay to do so. It feels like it's time for you to literally manifest. Absolutely time for you to manifest a, a relationship. It's time for you to manifest a soul connection. What are we shown here? A sneaky peek into the future. Oh, oh this is super nice. So we have the judgment card. I feel like this is you being, oh, right, another message coming through. I feel, think this is you being released. Can you see that we have this, look at her, gosh, bound by some connection and, and the release taking place here. We then have the 10 of swords. So there's a completion of something. And then we have the 10 of pentacles. I mean, this for me is like the happy family's lottery win. It's, it's the love, the contentment, contentment, happiness, joy. Now, the message coming through here is to do with the agreements that we make with ourselves and also with others. You know, sometimes if we are 
really, really, really connected with somebody. For any of you who've actually lost somebody, physically lost somebody, if somebody passed away, you may have almost made an arrangement with yourself that you would never love another. It's time to release that. It's time to let go. If you have come to a conclusion at any point in your life where you felt that you've come to an arrangement, like an agreement with yourself, where you have come to the conclusion that this will never work out for me, the fear and the anxiety that it will go wrong. It's time to release this and let it go. We're seeing you move away from this and the result is that this new relationship flourishes. I mean, this is contentment from genuine commitment. If the four of wands is a kind of a card of like an engagement and a celebration, the Ten of Pentacles is, is the ultimate kind of happily ever after card, genuinely in a really practical way. And because it's Pentacles, if any of you as well were, I don't know, you came out badly financially or health wise, you know, you came out badly from a relationship. I'm seeing a very different outcome with this. It's time to really, truly take the leap, step into the new. Separation is not the end whoever you separated from, whatever that previous relationship was about, separation is not the end. I have another message coming through as well for you and that is really interesting because the temperature in here is dropping and this sometimes happens. I'm going to say as well for some of you, you may be coming back together. It may be that you have known one another in a past life and that for some reason that relationship was not able to succeed. Now, for those of you for whom this is relevant, you'll know as I'm talking about it, you'll feel it, okay? But for some of you, you knew one another in a past life and something did go wrong. It may have been through war or some form of challenge. You knew one another and the relationship came to some form of untimely ending or it was cut off or you weren't allowed or it was prohibited. For some of you, there is a past life connection. Separation is not the end. This is actually coming back together. And if you have been wondering and thinking, you know, these things come through to us, we channel these things sometimes where it feels like, you know, when you meet someone and you've met them and even if you're shy and a bit reticent it actually feels like you've known them forever well you probably did know them before you almost certainly have known one another before and you're actually coming back to pick up where you left off and if there's any anxiety sitting there around this could go wrong it's because previously i think in a former life it did go wrong i think this is really quite a big powerful message for some of you it's very very strong the temperature in here has dropped which always means we're moving into the territory of previous lives with um with uh, those on the other side guiding this through so that you can come back together i i feel for some of you there really is destiny embrace what destiny has in store for you whoever this is that's coming into your world Many, many, many of you will have known them before and you will just know because it'll be so easy to be with them. You can be yourself. It's kind of like all of the stops and starts that can be around in a relationship at the beginning where our buttons are pressed. It will be really easy for you to overcome that. Yes, we're seeing past lives here again, families from history coming in here. Embrace what destiny has in store for you. Reading number one, although many messages are coming through, it's a generic reading. I think this for me is the most central one for many of you, which is whoever is around you or about to be around you is coming in to connect, to reconnect. The separation was a major challenge. It really, really was. Yeah, isn't that interesting? My phone is going off in the background. I normally switch off the sound. So I've obviously um, not done so, but I find it really interesting whenever anything happens in a reading, if there's an interruption, it tells us something. Your previous relationship in a former life was interrupted. You weren't able to connect or you either weren't able to connect or you connected and it was cut short. It's really coming through very strongly. 
This is a coming back together. There's destiny around you. Explore your feelings because the depth of your feelings, it may make you wobble because the feelings are so strong. And you may also be experiencing some of the fears that are from the previous life experience. I hope that that is making some sense to you reading number one, protection. You are protected and divinely guided. Um, and this is, this is beautiful that this can come back together. There is a real sense of beauty is the right word. Joy, beauty, light coming in here. I see so much light coming in. I feel actually very moved by, by this. So truly believe, um, because this, this is definitely coming through and coming in for you. Um, if this person isn't already around you, they will be with you very soon. Beautiful souls, I am feeling deeply moved and I feel there's nothing more to add to your reading. I'm sending you all the love in the world. And yeah, reading number one, it, keep us posted here in our beautiful moon magic family so wonderful friends uh, if you would like to never miss a reading as soon as i upload them i do post uh, pick a card readings that answer specific questions usually on a tuesday a friday and sometimes like today on a saturday as well i always post a reading on sunday which is about right now here and now guidance from spirit along with looking at what might be happening, you know, getting the heads up for the coming week. So help to guide you and advise, advice about the lay of the land for the coming week. And I do post lots of shorts now as well, which I am just loving. Little tea leaf readings, lots that are relationship focused at the moment because of the build up to Valentine's Day. So do check those out as well. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. It really does help me to uh, continue to put free stuff into the world. And thank you all of you who are on Patreon. I will be uploading your next tutorial and all the Zodiac readings that, that I do every moon month in the coming week. So watch out for those too. Anyone new to me, I have a different sort of setup on Patreon. It's where I do my all Zodiac sign monthly readings. And it's a, a different kind of platform. It works on the basis of donations, um, and but there are no advertisements. So it's a very different orientation, but that's where you can find all the Zodiac uh, sign readings if you want to tune in with those as well along with a tutorial every month and some extras too super souls i am so moved by this tons and tons of love to you reading number two welcome you have the card of honesty relationships need trust and you also have the rune of signs signals synchronicities answers now this is a rune that can sometimes have a little bit of trickster energy around it, almost like a Mercury in retrograde kind of energy, in that it's really asking you to be very, very aware of sort of seeing everything as a sign and a signal and an opportunity, even if it's something that throws you off balance. But it's interesting because we have this beautiful little cherub, actually, Firing an arrow, relationships need trust. So we are asking, reading number two, how can you manifest the love of your life? We're asking for guidance, information, practical information even. Now your first two cards are emotions. This is interesting because this came out, um, I think this, no, it was feelings that came out. My apologies in reading number one. So you have emotions, look deep within your emotions. Look at this soul your soul is preparing to reconnect trust in the process trust wow okay mm. however you look at it this rune also is always speaking of a new beginning something emerging a, a new life unfolding i sort of feel like maybe Maybe you don't need to do too much in a practical way beyond actually trust and know that the way will be shown for you. Okay, we're drawing lots of beautiful manifestation cards and of course cards connected to love and relationships. How can reading number two draw in the love of their life? Now we have difficult emotions. Right, there's a lot of emotional stuff going on around you reading number two. We have the inner critic. 
Well, this is interesting. And then we have empower yourself. Okay. How fascinating. Now, let's look at this card first. Difficult emotions. This card asks you to listen to your emotions. And so does this. Every emotion we have is actually necessary and important to us, even the challenging ones. Difficult feelings are letting you know that something's not okay. Learn to understand and love your emotions and discover how they serve you. You know, if you feel fearful, if you feel anxious, if you listen to those feelings, they're giving you actually very good information. And the inner critic, very interesting because this card is asking you, and look at the heart shape here. This card is asking you to transform your inner critic into an inner critique. The realistic appraisal and constructive feedback of a critique will enhance your ability to step into the very best version of yourself, whereas ongoing and persistent criticism will wear you down, eroding your confidence and your belief in your, at in your abilities. Sorry, I was about to say your attitudes, your abilities. And then we have empowerment. Empowerment does not mean that we have power over ourselves. Or, well, sorry, it does not mean that we have power over others. It means we have power over ourselves. We honour our capacity for free will and conscious choice whilst honouring the same in others. This card asks you to evaluate your present situation and to take an ownership of your right to choose with a recognition of the entitlement of others to do the same. Now, there is a really interesting energy around you in this reading. I feel that in manifesting the love of your life, the key message at the moment for you is actually about literally learning to, learning to listen to yourself primarily. Your soul is preparing to reconnect, trust in the process. Unrequited love, okay, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay. What this is kind of saying to me, I think, and, and this of course is a generic reading, but I feel, reading number two, that maybe you have a pattern in relationships whereby it's possible that you're not reading the signs correctly. Okay, and your Midnight Bezos 1942 card is, we are always at free will and choice. Remember that. Mm. Yeah, I feel that there has been in the past, in previous relationships, a pattern for you guys where you haven't actually listened to what something was feeling like. You weren't listening to the warning signs. You might override them. And sometimes we do this because we are I don't know, we fall madly in love with someone, we're massively attracted to them. And we kind of like, you know, the idealization that comes with that, we kind of buy into the idealization because actually it's what we want. We adore that person, we think they're amazing, but we kind of brush over things that really are quite, quite big signals, quite big signs. And that's what I feel that we're seeing here in your reading, reading number two, is that you have, had a pattern in relationships whereby you haven't actually listened to yourself. And as a consequence, you in many ways haven't made, you haven't taken an ownership of, of, of your own ability to make clear conscious choices. The choices you've made have often been, you know, without really, really listening to what's going on. And, you know, the main message coming through here, how can you manifest the love of your life, is to say, actually, be really real with yourself. Be really honest with yourself when you meet someone. Listen to the signs. Observe the signs. Listen to your emotions. Trust that you're being shown good information. If somebody isn't as responsive as they ought to be to you, then recognize that that's, that's actually not a, 
That's, that means that this person is perhaps not the right person for you. Now, let's ask for more information. How can you manifest, how can reading number two manifest the love of their life? May we have more information, please. Okay, I'm seeing this and this, okay. Yeah, so we have the Two of Wands. Now, this is a really interesting Two of Wands, I always feel, because he's holding the world. The Two of Wands has a lot of energy about it. It's, it's about coming out of your cave, moving forwards, taking action. We then have, okay, yeah, we then have the Four of Cups. Again, being offered signs, being shown signs, but not quite seeing them. We have the sun. Okay, I am really seeing where this reading is going. We then have the ten of wands and then we have the magician. Okay, this is absolutely a significant reading of empowerment for you, reading number two. So, The way to attract, we're gonna draw more cards for you guys, actually. We'll definitely follow this reading through. But the biggest message, literally, how can you manifest the love of your life is literally learn to listen to yourself. Be an observer of what's going on. Don't rush into things. Don't make assumptions. Really think about what someone is offering you. And if somebody feels like they're hard work, you know, if you're working overtime to kind of keep them happy or you're working overtime to try and engage with them. You know, look at this card, somebody bending over backwards here for this, this gentleman, this knight or whatever, bending over backwards here, trying to get her attention. And she's just kind of looking the other way. It's like, really, you know, whenever, whatever. So it's kind of like really about learning to listen to the signs and then making choices accordingly. This is a reading of empowerment. It's asking you, it's also saying the timing is right, okay, but it's asking you to really, really notice whether somebody is genuinely engaged with you, what they're actually bringing to the table, what's this person offering? What are they actually bringing to the table rather than you kind of doing all the work. Become an observer of things. When you meet people, and there's definitely opportunity to meet people, we have the sun in a central position. So the energy of a new relationship is around you. The energy of a union is around you. And you can create this. It's interesting, the magician, rather like this, um, this rune, rather like the rune of ANZUS, the signs, signals, synchronicities, it can have a little bit of a trickster energy about it. The magician energy can be a bit of a trickster energy too. Sometimes it's just about alchemy and about making choices for yourself and knowing that you can be, you know, the choices you make today are creating your tomorrow. But sometimes it is that Mercury in retrograde energy. I mean, this is connected to, to the energy of Mercury, the winged messenger of the gods. The magician here is also kind of saying, look, read the signs and learn to read them well. Be an observer before you take action. The Two of Wands is a card of action. It's a card of opportunity and choice. I feel like you're being given a clear message that the there are actually most definitely opportunities around you for a new relationship to emerge, for the love of your life to come in, but it's about you making the right choices along the way or allowing yourself to do that and to be playful with it, not to get really, really, really down if something doesn't work. I kind of find myself wanting to talk to you about disappointment, okay? And now I wrote a book about emotions. I used to work as a full-time 
uh, accredited psychotherapist and now I do lots of other different yeah different I'm a, I like to see myself or my calling I feel is a bridge between all of that psychotherapy knowledge and the kind of a more spiritual connection to um, understanding but in my full-time psychotherapy practice I wrote a book called mindfulness meets emotional awareness now in and th that book deals with all of our most difficult emotions and we'll literally teach you how to use them as a source of empowerment, how to understand a negative emotion, literally how to, uh, as a source of absolute empowerment. Disappointment is coming through here. Disappointment is a really interesting emotion because disappointment is an emotion that in a way it's like a, it's actually a call to action. It's, and the call to action is to stop put the brakes on, it's like coming to a crossroads or a T-junction and it's asking you to evaluate before you decide which road you're going to take. And if we listen to disappointment as a kind of a derailer, which is often what happens, disappointment can really derail us and it can send us into that spiral of thinking that kind of goes along the lines of, uh, it always happens to me, you know, it's never going to work out for me, all the good ones are taken, all that, that kind of thinking. Disappointment takes you into, different emotions take you into different thinking patterns and, and disappointment takes you into those kinds of thinking patterns. It's very interesting that certain emotions align with certain repetitive patterns of thinking. I, I talk about that in that book. But really that the positive higher vibration of disappointment is that it's it's actually saying to you can we stop and have a look at this what is causing you the disappointment can this be negotiated and worked through you know, can this be discussed can we think about this can we talk about it and sort it out or if we can't what choices and decisions do you then need to make because actually if you go back again and again and again if someone disappoints you and you sweep it under the carpet and you go back again and then they disappoint you again and you sweep it under the carpet and then you go back again and again then we end up with this ten of wands we're burdened you're burning out you're working overtime and you're not actually getting back what you need. So if we listen to our disappointment, it actually helps us to evaluate exactly what's going on and then to make very conscious choices. So there's some really interesting energy around you. Now I'm going to draw an angel card next and we're gonna draw more cards for you reading number two, because I want to kind of see where this is going for you. Because we have the sun in a central position which, and your soul is preparing to reconnect. And we're seeing two people here and two people here. The sun sometimes indicates in a relationship reading the coming together, a soulmate connection, an equal partnership. May we have more information, please, for uh, reading number two, please. There's your card. Angel of Determination. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving your reading, reading number two. That is where we are. It really is about understanding, understanding the signs, the signals, and being prepared to really allow yourself to listen to them and take action accordingly. And the moment you shift yourself to that space of empowerment, it's really interesting, but energetically, everything shifts. Now, honestly, I can speak about this from first-hand experience and where I, I used to really, I have many years ago, really welcomed some very inappropriate people into my life. My boundaries were not good. I was an overgiver, And actually what happened was that I was actually just attracting takers into my life. You know, and it's almost as though it was really, really interesting when things were going wrong. I was really misinterpreting how I was feeling and what was going on when when I wasn't attracting what I wanted, I actually felt like I need, I interpreted that as perhaps I wasn't giving enough. And I went back and I tried to give more and more and more. And actually what was happening, I was giving to the wrong people. I wasn't being discerning. I wasn't listening to the signs. And because in many ways, I therefore wasn't respecting myself. I was then attracting people who were also not respecting myself. 
it took me a long time to really get my head around this and realize that actually as the law of attraction was going, I was being given very clear experiences that required me to learn to listen to myself and then to take action accordingly and to practice my own free will and choice in an empowered way. And the moment I got it, it was like the penny dropped, which I always feel this card looks like. It's like, mm, yeah, I get that. <laughs> you know, it's got that flavor about it. Mm, yeah, we can do this. It's a shift. And the moment I got it and I really understood it and I started to kind of really draw some clear boundaries around the kind of people that I was prepared to have in my world, everything shifted and changed in so, so many ways. And I mean, just outstandingly for the better in every possible way. So I, I feel your message is very clear, but I want to now draw more cards for you. Angel of Determination. This is really worth working at, Super Souls, because if you honestly, and I can really say this from first-hand experience, if you can shift this, this is about being honest with yourself. It's not about being honest with others. I think you're, hum I think you're genuinely honest already. The key is that you're not always necessarily listening to the real signs and signals that are shown you. But with this shift in perspective and awareness and a learning to listen to your emotions, I will put a link to um, that book for you in the uh, description box. And there's another book that comes before it called Seven Steps to Spiritual Empathy. Uh, Mindfulness Meets Emotional Awareness, which is about emotions very specifically, is, is very quite a pragmatic book. But Seven Steps to Spiritual em Empathy will teach you to listen to yourself and to understand empathy as because I think if you can't listen to yourself you can't really hear the signs and also see the signs that the universe can then offer you to help and support you as well let us draw more cards may we ask I'm seeing a lovely little chunk of cards here I'm going to take all those for you and this one too I want a sneaky peek into the future as to how this will emerge and perhaps more information and guidance okay Right, so we have the Page of Cups. This is awesome. This is the sort of pigs might fly card. You know, it's like dreams can come true. And what do we have here? Awesome, awesome, awesome. We have the Hanged Man and look at all these runes, signs, signals, synchronicities. This is about you really, really listening, believing. Oh, we've got the sun again. And being aware of the signs. The moment you are conscious of the signs, then the sun sitting on the sun, um, literally, it's almost as if the, the universe will show you if you're prepared to listen and believe, then the universe will show you. I love this. We have the two of swords. It's literally like your blindfolds will be removed because I feel like you've had a blind spot. By not listening to the signs, just as I can truly honestly say I, I, I did the same. I welcomed everybody into my world, right, left and centre. And as a consequence, I really, really did attract quite inappropriate people, which kind of then leads to heartache, really, and difficulty. But your, your dreams, I feel there's something really very... Yeah, your soul. Look, I feel this is like your soul light. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust in the process. I feel like you are about to emerge here. Indeed, I'd venture to say, I would venture to say that you are going to be guided here. It's like take off the blindfolds, see the signs. You might find you've got more than one kind of potential suitor coming through. I'll draw a few more cards just to see where this is going. But you may find you have more than one potential suitor. And what will happen is you may find that almost as if the universe gives you an opportunity to try a few people on for size before you then meet the one. And part of that is almost to practice discernment. It's almost like the universe saying, hey, try this on for size. Let's, let's just trust in this process. Let's give you an opportunity to play with this. Let's, let's develop your determination. We'll throw a few people your way 
and you can really check them out and develop your ability to be empowered, to be yourself, and then it emerges. Let's see what else we are shown. Yeah, I think this is really key. You listening to yourself, trusting yourself. May we have more information. How is this emerging? May we see, I mean, sometimes we're not given this information, but may we please at least ask, perhaps, seeing this and those two. Okay. Okay, reading number two. What do we see here? Yes. Yeah, you've got to work and learn at this. This is like, this is for me, page of swords. It's like learning how to do this mind over mind over emotions, actually, in a way, allowing your mind to become the observer of your experiences. And that creates the shift. And look what we have. <laughs> look what we have. We have the Knight of Wands. This is a card of celebration. Things will then move forwards quickly. And look at this discernment. It's honestly, this is you becoming resilient you being in your own bubble uh, you can't be poked or pushed by people anymore you can't be yeah this is like you developing yourself in a way that means yeah this is this will happen this will emerge the key here is learning the skill of discernment we've asked that was our question how can you manifest the love of your life practical advice the practical advice to you reading number two is develop discernment uh, that's it it's really clear listen to the signs read the signs trust that your emotions are good information don't idealize people get discerning exert your own free will and choice and remember that you have a choice be determined and you know the wheel of fortune will turn i mean that is a really clear answer to our question, how can you how how can you manifest the love of your life? This is very practical advice, Super Souls. Because we are coming up to Valentine's Day, I'm doing various relationship orientated readings. Some of them are the little one minute shorts. Some of them are bigger pick a card readings, all around aspects of developing relationships, calling in a soulmate, finding a soulmate, all kinds of yeah, all kinds of readings. So do check them out i mean this is very specific how can you manifest the love of your life practical advice what can you personally do and we're being given very practical advice but do check out the other readings as well if you are interested in yeah getting getting answers to other areas like what will your spouse be like you know what um what might you be looking for um how might you meet your soulmate all of these kinds of things are around in the readings that i'm doing just at this present time now i usually post a reading on tuesday on friday and sometimes on saturdays as well which is this one I always post a reading on Sundays, which is about here and now guidance and also information from spirit to give you the heads up for the coming week. So that's always posted without fail on a Sunday. And there are lots of little shorts as well. So do check them out. And if you'd like to make sure you get all of the readings coming through into your stream as soon as I post them, if you subscribe and press, press the little bell icon, they should come through to you. Thank you so, so much for joining me for these readings today. I'm really excited because this is a very pragmatic piece of advice for you. And, and actually, so, you know, I want to say, go to it and empower yourself, you know, do it. Reading number two, get, get to it, listen to the signs, learn this as a skill. And, you know, your world is going to open up and, you know, this is this is how to call in the love of your life so i'm thrilled for you thank you for liking sharing and subscribing it really does support me in continuing to put free stuff into the world and um thank you all of you who are also connected with me through patreon i'll be uploading a tutorial for you in the week and also the all zodiac sign readings as well my zodiac sign readings run from with the moon month rather than the calendar month so we've got a new moon coming up in a week's time as well which is is really exciting but whenever you find this reading um, whenever it finds you reading number two um, yeah practice discernment determination learn how to understand your emotions and the rest will follow I am sending you all the love in the world um, and I will put every possible link that might be helpful to you um, in the information box below 
and also in the uh, pinned comment for phone users to reading number two I'm sending you so so much love hey reading number three welcome it is so good to be here with you today now we have the rune of strength here we have the lizard and we have timing allow events to unfold at the correct time now we have a super lovely collection of cards that really really tuned into manifestation and also to love so i'm pretty excited to do your reading for you so let's pop these up here and draw our first oracle cards and see what we are shown for reading number three so we're asking actually you know how can you manifest the love of your life can we have practical real information reading number two certainly was how interesting soul came out in reading number two as well so if you were drawn to both then both readings may be applicable to you so your soul is preparing to reconnect trust in the process allow events to unfold at the correct time then we have tested your strengths and weaknesses are being tested how very very interesting okay now this is very very interesting because this rune arose the rune of strength suggests that you are in a period of transition in some way shape or form almost that's a level of soul and lizard is an energy that connects to the dream time so something is unfolding at the moment there's a process going on around you let's draw more cards and see what are we shown you know how can reading number three manifest the love of their life what can they do um, is there anything they can do can we have practical really practical advice please information and practical advice okay i'm going to draw several cards before we dive in and see what else we are shown okay oh okay both of those then <laughs> that's fine we can do that so we have soulmate yes this is your soulmate we have the card of you deserve love you are lovable we have open yourself to possibility and collaborate ah this is very very interesting okay and then let me see what else we have here imagination having the ability to think or dream of new, interesting, unorthodox, unconventional ideas, having creativity, being a free thinker, thinking outside the box. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is really empowering. Now, collaborate is a really interesting card here. It says, sometimes we are called to develop our self-sufficiency, and this can be a valuable road to travel in the discovery of, of our individual and unique gifts. But this is not the same as trying to do everything yourself all of the time. This is not a time to go it alone. It's time to unite and work with others. Okay. Open yourself to possibility. Almost everyone holds some limiting beliefs about themselves. These perceptions block us from receiving the infinite support of the universe. This card is an invitation to reassess and look beyond these limitations and to recognize that in opening yourself to possibility, you automatically invite positive change into your life. You deserve love. I feel that you have potentially closed yourself off in some way shape or form or you've cut yourself shut yourself down okay but you're now I say that because I, I sort of I well I've got this interesting toing and froing energy going on here it's really really fascinating we'll draw tarot cards and see where we're going with this reading number three I feel like you are bordering on being absolutely ready and primed to bring in the love of your life your soulmate literally to cast out that arrow and for it to land 
what I'm sort of seeing is a little bit of toing and froing energy. It's as if you've, yeah, this testing, testing energy around, but your soul is actually preparing to reconnect with your soulmate. If we think of a soulmate in this instance, we are talking about the love of your life. I think soulmate connections are people we come together ultimately with purpose and a soulmate connection isn't always somebody that we're going to you know love and be in an intimate relationship with i think we have many soulmates that we meet along the pathway we come together with purpose but in this particular reading we are talking about a soulmate union of intimacy no question of it now the timing needs to be right You've been through a period of testing and I feel that road is unfolding. Can you see the timing here? You see the way that road behind her is kind of leading ahead. Actually, I think events are definitely manoeuvring on your behalf, but you're not actually there yet. And it's actually really hard, isn't it, to sort of hold the faith if that makes sense when you feel like you're trying and you're going out and you're meeting people or whatever you're doing and it doesn't quite happen it can really cause you to rebuff and start to become very self-sufficient sort of like well I'll go it alone I can do this on my own that's fine but actually there's a really important element in this reading and this may well connect to one of you know to reading number two for some of you there's a really important part of this reading that's saying to you divine timing is at work you need to remain open to possibility yes there's some testing going on or there has been but you're in a space of preparation that's what we're being shown here literally at a level of soul and i want to say for some of you please be thoughtful that we're talking the love of your life so this soulmate is also in a space of preparation you may actually have done the work you may have almost completed the tests and you're sitting there and thinking well why why has this person not actually landed yet well it it may be that they are still processing their testing, if you like. They're still navigating that. And I'm seeing for some of you divine timing that, yeah, for some of you, I think you're not, it's not so much ahead of the game. I don't know how better to say it really, but it's as if you've been doing the work and simultaneously, so has your soulmate, but it may be that they are not quite through that testing. And, and this is the person that you're looking for and they've got to be ready as well. So this is about you holding the strength and the energy of sometimes having to have some patience, holding in your imagination, holding in your mind, holding in the dream time, what it is that you want to create, the person you're drawing in. Because I think that for some of you, yeah, they, they, they haven't quite caught up with you at the pace of growth. I think your growth is where it should be, but I don't think there's, they're nearly there. We're seeing, it feels like you're so close to this, but you're having to sort of like wait for them to do that little bit of extra work too. That's what I think I'm being shown here, largely actually reading number three. So really hold that possibility for yourself because yeah, they've, they've got a bit of catching up to do. I don't know if we can be given any timings, but we'll certainly ask. May we please have information for reading number three about how this will emerge or any timings around this. Okay, so we, I think this is going to happen quite quickly. We've got the full, this is new beginnings. And look at this beautiful dog here. There's a sense of, of loyalty here. You know, this is a really strong connection when it comes. I, I don't think you're going to have to wait very long. But I do think some of you have been waiting 
<laughs> for this other person to kind of address their own their own pathway their own testing simultaneously you've both been tested i do think you're slightly ahead of the game but it had to happen because neither of you would have been able to come together in the way that i think you're going to if you hadn't processed things you kind of wouldn't have been ready for each other and look at this we have the three of pentacles i mean this is such this feels like a gift it feels like again collaborate friends you may well actually meet this person okay you may meet this person i'm going to say right there's two settings coming through um one is potentially through friendship groups and the other through work yeah, so look at this. We have the Ten of Pentacles here, the Page of Swords. When you meet this person, you'll know it. It will be so it will be crystal clear. It will be like, I know, I know you. I know you're right. You'll just, you will just know it. In the very essence of your being, you'll know it's right. And look at this Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this is the dream come true this is the happy families it's you know this is yeah this is the dream come true you will know once you meet this person i'm going to draw an angel card so let me move these along a little bit once you meet this person and i do think collaborate is really important it's really connecting with these two cards here because i think you're quite likely to meet this person either in a working set, setting or through community groups or friendship groups. It's got that flavor around it. The moment you know them, the meet you meet, you'll know. But there has been a karmic element going on where testing has been going on for both of you to prepare you to be ready and right for this level of connection. That's really, really clear in your reading and yeah, I think, to be honest with you, I think you've got there a little bit ahead of the game. Just hold that hope, hold that energy, hold that deservedness, hold that arrow of intent. The moment you meet, and I do think it's we're talking friendship or at work, it's, it's something around a community group where I think you'll meet this person. Yeah, angel of success, look at it. It's like, yes. <laughs> I, I think this is literally going to happen quite quickly. I think the reason it's really possibly felt like it's taken so, so long is because there has been this kind of testing going on. There's been some profound learning. And your task, how can you, our question, how can you manifest the love of your life? Practical advice. Your task at the moment is to hold your intention really clearly hold that vision of what you want and literally and trust because allow events to unfold at the correct time i do think it is in a, a social setting or a work setting that you're going to meet this person and may we please draw some more cards for reading number three just a kind of a sneaky preview of where this is going you have been in preparation for this and so have they divine timing is at work it had to happen in a particular way that's I know it must have felt pretty tough at times and um, you honestly may have really wondered whether this would ever happen but I think we're seeing that really clearly here let's draw more cards and see what else we are shown us and perhaps how this will unfold and emerge how interesting yes look we have the three of wands followed by the two of wands okay so this is about you holding your vision of the future okay now how very fascinating so we have three of wands two of wands then our central card we have the devil okay so you've had to cut some cords to be where you are part of your testing was literally to have to learn to yeah i mean you, you've literally been tested i think you've had some almost like i want to say almost like temptations okay but you've been you've had some connections with people who who basically were they were very very testing relationships but i think the purpose of them was ultimately to be able to get you to a place where you were able and available for this 
actually this depth of love and connection. I don't think you were. You probably thought you were, but actually I don't think you had the strength within yourself at a level of soul to meet this person on seriously equal terms. We have the card of temperance. I mean, this is the coming together. It's like we have the sun and the moon. This is the coming together in equal balance of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And this is non-gender specific, however this comes. This is a, a relationship of balance, of equality, of openness, of honesty. And I feel that you have been tested through relationship to reach this point, but it's both of you. Both of you have been on that pathway. And we conclude our reading with the Page of Cups. I mean, this is the dreams come true, the pigs might fly kind of, you know, in love. And look at the, you know, there's this sort of ring being handed here between two hands here. This is the, the dream you never thought would happen. So reading number three, hold that space of possibility. Recognize that there is divine timing at hand. Recognize that the pathway that's led you to here and the testing, and you may have been thinking, you know, I'm ready for this. Why hasn't it happened? Where are you? <laughs> All those sorts of things. That's been going on for the other person as well. And I do think they've been just a little bit behind you. But the fact that we have the full card here is telling us so clearly this is going to happen soon. We're seeing the kind of environments and we're having such an affirmation that the testing had to happen in order for you to truly meet on equal terms. But this is such an affirmation along with the angel of success. So really, really reading number three, how you can manifest the love of your life is to keep yourself open to possibility and get out there and be with people, whether you are meeting at work or whether you're meeting in the community or friendship groups, go out there. Be with people, collaborate, be around people because there's an environment where you're, you're naturally meeting people because of the environment and that I think is where you're actually going to meet truly the moment you, you see each other. You're just, it's one of those you'll know and it will be, wow, this is it and you'll just know with such a clarity of mind. But keep those doors open in possibility and know that just because you have been ready, I don't think the other person was just yet, but the timing looks to be unfolding and it looks to be unfolding soon. So keep your energy open. Reading number three, this is really super lovely. I just, I feel quite sort of like emotional and, and really quite, I, I've got a real warmth in my heart. It's like a really, it feels like a heartfelt message being given to you. You know, hold that dream time. You know, you do deserve it. You have been tested and you're quite right. And I think you know it. I bet you have days when you just think, why are you not here? I deserve this. Why, why, why aren't you here? Why hasn't this happened yet? You know, and it hasn't happened yet because the other person has also been tested. Okay, but when you come together, wow, it's, it's going to be wow. So just, yeah keep it, keep it there, keep it there, keep your strength, you know, this is happening and it looks to be happening soon, but keep that doorway open to receive and, you know, we're seeing success. I mean, we just are. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. Reading number three, I'm loving your reading. Absolutely loving your reading. Now, because this, we're in the run-up at the time I'm doing this, whenever you read, whenever you actually tune in with this reading, I'm actually doing it in the run up to Valentine's Day. I'm doing lots of different readings around relationships, all there to help, to guide, to support. So do check them out. If you'd like to get um, a notification as soon as I post any of my readings. So I post pick a card readings on a Tuesday, a Friday, sometimes like this one on a Saturday as well. I'm doing lots of little shorts as well. And loads of those are about relationships and uh, romance at the moment as well, as well as daily tea leaves and 
and all, all kinds of stuff. And I always post a reading on Sundays for weekly guidance where we literally do ask for a message for you right here, right now. Can Spirit give you the heads up as to how to navigate the coming week of your world? So, you know, thank you all of you who are following these readings. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. It really does help me to continue to put free stuff into the world. If you're with me on Patreon, I'll be uploading this week your monthly tutorial and also your all zodiac sign readings. And Patreon for anyone new here is a, a, a different kind of platform. It works on the basis of donations, but there are there are no um, yeah there's no adverts, so it's kind of cool. And I do my all zodiac sign monthly readings there, so do tune in with that if you'd like to. Um, you know, reading number three, you've done the work you do deserve, love. You're absolutely right. And I think you really, really, really know it. Just hold that space of possibility um, because, you know, yes, this is your soulmate. They're coming. And but, yeah, you've both had to be tested to get to this space. You simply could not have handled the depth of connection. Actually, um, if you'd met earlier, you know, this this sort of had to happen, really. Anyway, sending you the biggest hug in the world. Truly, truly, thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of the Moon Magic family here on YouTube. Um, I am just sending you the biggest virtual hug ever and literally heartfelt to you, truly. Tons of love.